Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Blake, and I am the Executive Director of Technology here at Allegius Global Solutions. I'm joined today by my colleague, Jonathan Winters, our Procurement Executive, and our partner, Doug Halker, the Vice President at Globality. And we're here today to share some key insights from a recent roundtable that we ran, where we explored the benefits of generative AI, specifically in procurement, and the challenges of implementation. Our discussion highlighted the importance of the strategic deployment of AI within procurement, and rather than just handling using AI to handle the low impact tasks, we talked about the, um, the benefits of focusing it on more complex, high impact areas. And this approach not only streamlines the processes, but also significantly increases the competitive RFP bids, cuts the statement of work spend, and enhances decision making in, within procurement. Jonathan, what are the things that you took from, from the round table? Yeah, thanks Ian. I, I think there was pretty solid consensus that AI will change the way procurement works, uh, that there'll be a massive impact for the better. But that consensus was also mixed with a little bit of nervousness around the way we do that. There was um, nervousness around InfoSec, around the business case, around the use case. But as we as we talked and we went beyond those those barriers, I think there was a real, real sense of agreement around the idea that as time passes and AI really starts to influence the way that we as procurement professionals work, that we'll see a real move away from managing processes, managing RFPs, bid processes, and so on, um, and moving into a world where AI really does a lot of that work for us, and we become much more of a relationship manager. We act as the bridge between the business um, uh, and our vendor stakeholders. Doug, what were your two key takeaways? Um, yeah, I agree with everything you said. I think the other thing that um, I heard is is or companies are trying to figure out what to make of all this. There's, there's AI for the sake of AI, and then there's AI with kind of measurable, translatable benefits. Um, companies want to know, number one, uh, what's happening with their data? How's it being treated securely? And secondarily, once that data is ingested with AI, are, are the outputs reliable and, and, and trustworthy? Um, and, you know, we're seeing, um, you know, pretty astonishing benefits when, this, when, when, when the results are actually um, consumed in that, we're seeing uh, companies create scopes of work in as little as, as 30 minutes with the help of generative AI. Uh, we're seeing the, the matching and identification of suppliers happen instantaneously, whereby previously, you know, that kind of stuff would take weeks and months. Um, and so the, the, the business case and the measurable benefits once companies are trusting their data into the process have been pretty astonishing. Jonathan, I'm not sure what you're seeing when you're dealing with other customers out there and uh, other clients out there. What are they doing? Yeah, for, for us, as we work with clients, we're, we're seeing this, as I said, sort of this, this buy into the idea that AI has enormous potential, a few barriers to get over. And the solution to that seems to be that even when you're leveraging AI and acknowledging all the power that it brings, that the process is just still contain a human element, a, a human eye within the process. So that hybrid solution of the AI wrapped within a people-delivered service um, that's something we've been really sort of striving for over the recent months. Um, we've seen a big impact from that. We're able to get to a stage where with those rapidly deployed RFPs, it allows you to RFP so much more and every RFP generates a saving. So we're getting to a stage where we're RFPing pretty much 50% of all the spend that individual clients have under, under statements of work. And that RFP rate, uh, which I feel could go further in future, um, is generating significant savings on a case-by-case -case basis. So somewhere between sort of 17 and 21%, depending on the subcategory um, of savings generated each time we run those processes in the tool. Fantastic. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Doug, for those amazing insights and your expertise on this area. Uh, it's amazing to see how AI is really already transforming procurement and the generative AI piece is really making, it, making an impact. Thank you all for joining us for the summary of the, of the roundtable. Um, and we hope that you found these insights valuable and we look forward to hosting you very time, sometime soon at our next roundtable. Thank you.